Hi, I'm Laura, a patient navigator, and I'm here today on behalf of your oncologist. During your consultation, your doctor discussed about giving carboplatin, Alimta, and Keytruda combination therapy used as the first-line treatment in stage four lung cancer. I want to explain about this care plan in two short videos. In this video, video one, we will discuss what are the medications in this care plan, how they are administered, and how they work. In video two, we will go over important side effects, when to call your doctor, and how to manage common side effects at home. What is carboplatin, Alimta, and Keytruda drug regimen, and how does it work? It is a combination of chemotherapy and immunotherapy regimen used for certain types of stage four non-small cell lung cancer. Carboplatin and Alimta are chemotherapy treatments, and Keytruda is an immunotherapy treatment. Carboplatin is also called platinum therapy and kills cancer cells through binding with their DNA, preventing their production and inducing their death. Alimta is also called pimetrexid, or folate antimetabolites, and kills cancer cells through prevention of DNA formation, required for cells growth and division. Keytruda, also known as pembrolizumab, is an immunotherapy that works by binding to a specific area of immune cells called PDL1 receptor, helping the immune system to attack and kill cancer cells. Who gets this regimen? This regimen is mainly given for non-squamous, non-small cell lung cancer that is advanced or stage four. Cancer cells are free of certain abnormalities called EGFR and ALK mutations. And in combination with chemotherapy, Keytruda can be given for lung cancers with or without PDL1 expression. How is this regimen given? Your doctor may prescribe dexamethasone, vitamin B12, and folic acid supplements for one week before starting this regimen to reduce side effects from treatment. It is important you get B12 injections and start taking folic acid vitamins a week before Alimta chemotherapy because it reduces the side effects from that drug. Dexamethasone is a steroid prescribed by your doctor either in oral or IV form, and it is given to prevent or significantly reduce Alimta-induced skin rashes. If dexamethasone is given orally, your doctor may prescribe dexamethasone 4 mg twice daily to be taken the day before, the day of, and the day after Alimta administration. Alternatively, your doctor may choose to give you single injection of dexamethasone 20 mg on the day of chemotherapy. Your doctor stresses it is important that you take dexamethasone as directed. Not doing so increases the risk of severe skin reactions from Alimta. Your doctor may also prescribe other oral medications to treat nausea and or vomiting. If you develop nausea and or vomiting, please take them as prescribed. Going back to the main anti-cancer therapy regimen, carboplatin, Alimta, and Keytruda, these medications are given by vein on the same day followed by a rest period of 20 days. Each 21-day treatment is considered a cycle. Alimta is given first over a 10-minute infusion, followed by Keytruda, then carboplatin. Usually four cycles of all three drugs are given for a total treatment period of an average three months. After four cycles, a maintenance treatment consisting of Alimta and Keytruda every three weeks is usually given to prevent disease progression. Sometimes Keytruda alone is given as maintenance therapy if your doctor feels it is more appropriate. Please tell your doctor about any medicines you are taking, including vitamins, herbal supplements, and over-the-counter medicines to make sure they won't interfere with your treatment. Feel free to watch this video as many times as you would like or download the transcript to read. In video two, we will go over certain serious and some of the common side effects from this treatment and how to manage them at home. If you have any additional questions, you are welcome to reach out to your doctor's office. Thank you and good luck.